I've taken it all apart and I've labeled all the screws in here so nothing gets mixed up. And this is the model uh, Dell 6400. And what was happening, This they used it as a gaming machine and it used to cut off at about 10 minutes of play, either on games or on uh, YouTube full screen, overheating. And <clears throat> here's the uh, display board. And what I found is and here's the uh, CPU cooler and what I found I'll show I'll put a picture the fan was completely plugged for the uh, display board and it was also plugged for the CPU the CPU has to come out first before you can take the display board out so since I had the whole system taken apart I wanted to uh, check the thermal compound in here sort of just put this back in here for now and I'll put this one back this machine had a very bad design and you, and you see I've mounted the screws so I wouldn't uh, lose where they are just for the fan okay put that fan there and I put this fan this is just temporary so I can show you like that squeezes in there like so okay so what you got to do is you got to take the 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 bottom cover off which is the simple part to do along with the keyboard and then you got to get this off before you can service the fans and stuff See what they did here was they, you know, bring it in and show you. They, they made little holes here so you can put the screws in for the fans. See on both sides? But you can't get the fan out without taking this cover off. Like what good is that? Like they should have had a little cutout here. So you can unscrew this little plate so you can get the fan out to clean it with the vacuum. Turn the flashlight through here and look through the back vent and see if you can see daylight. If there's no daylight, that means in there has been plugged with dust. So you get air and you push it back this way into the fan area. At the same time, you have your vacuum on and there you suck it out this way and then you can look again and see if you can see daylight that's the only possible way that I know to clean it without taking the whole thing apart and you can do it on the uh, CPU fan as well but why they didn't cut that out so you can get the fans out like this machine was two thousand dollars when it was new and there's other Dells that you can actually go from behind to get the fans out. Seeing right here, you, you still can't get the fans out of the back because they come through the front. Why I took the uh, the display off because I didn't want the thing bouncing around while I was fixing it and, and busting the LCD that was easy to take off but to get the display board out the wires go right through here 
for the uh, LCD. So you have to disconnect these wires to get the display board out. So I thought, ah, I'll just take the, I'll just take the uh, LCD off. And to do that, screws here and on the back, and it comes out on both sides. This one here, the CPU, you only put compound here. This here has this sort of like a, a putty heat thing right right there. P-sized amount. I'm using that P. You got the three P's here. Uh, maybe the small one seems to work right. Yeah, maybe that mount. Maybe I should get the other peas. I got a whole pack of them. Like that. Just like that. I'm just going to start the screws in there. just so they catch four screws I've tightened them you can't over tighten them because they just stop okay before you put the uh, compound on the CPU the display board has to be mounted inside because remember I have to take the the CPU out cooler before I could take the uh, video card out because they're so tight in here that you can't there's nothing you can't there's no room to maneuver it and this here there's a plug-in right along there right there there's plugs so you gotta get it perfectly in line and then push down on it it'll it'll connect I want to get this lined up just so, so the connector can push down. Like that. There, it's connected and then you can just, then the other screws, you just tighten them down to the board. I switched screwdrivers, I got a Phillips now. Uh, three places to tighten it Now I'm going to install the fan for the uh, Display the NVIDIA fan goes like that And gets plugged in right there Okay, and then it has tight tightening sequence one two three four You can't over tighten because they just stop. Put the two screws in, one, two, and you plug it in right. You plug the fan in right there. Next thing we do is put this black case on and it has uh, five connectors. one which is for the uh, power button bar two three speaker four and this one five okay now we can snap the case down because it's got locking on the where the trackpad is 
nice and flush. This wire get just plugged into here, and the speaker wire gets plugged into this little pin right there. I'm gonna put the screen on. This slips on like that. Got two two longer you got two longer screws and I'll flip this up here. Longer screw goes here and one at the opposite end. Screw here, which is the short one, and one right there. Now that the screen is on, all these wires you fish down through that hole there. You just put them all through there. Okay, now we'll put this connector on. And a tiny screw right here. Yeah, you do that. Now we can wire, route this wire a little bit here. The, the ribbon cable gets plugged right there. So you got a little blue tab to pull it up with. Eight screws from the black top, and there's nine. I marked them with white. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next thing we're going to do is the keyboard. It's got a plug in here. And I have four screws that go up along the top. The last piece is a small skinny piece with the power button and a whole bunch of other buttons. And you plug it in right there. Okay, we've got it plugged in. You set it in place and it just snaps in. Okay, I'll show you where the screws are at the back. One there, two, three, four, Five. And then we got these ones here when we did the uh, screen. One on this side, one on that side. You remember rerouting these wires? Okay, what you, what I did was I took a picture of where all the wires connected to, but you can make a diagram. And what you do is you just pop off the pins. And this is the last one I have to do here. And they just clip in like that. But yeah, I took a picture. And if you want to connect it, you just pop them off like, like that. Your main hard drive goes right in here. It sits in there like that. And then you get the cover. And the last thing is you put your big cover back on. Just push it back in. And 
and then you put two screws in these two small screws it snaps in place okay we're firing it up